changes coming to the city of Aurora after a recent investigation found a history of racist and excessive force in the police and fire departments. Well, today the city announced a path to those changes. Jeff Todd joins us from Aurora tonight. And Jeff, many people have been calling for change after high profile cases have led to mistrust in the community. Yeah, Karen, it was really that Elijah McLean case that kicked off a lot of these investigations. And those findings did say that those first responders targeted minorities. Other findings said that they would not record interactions with the public. Now, the fire department says that starting a year ago, they stopped using ketamine altogether. But even today, the city says more changes are coming. I know that this has been 23 months of, of pain. 23 months of difficult conversations, 23 months of change and reform. The reform begins with training how officers operate. Many critics point to this encounter in the summer of 2020 as unnecessary escalation and bias. Two things that officers will now get more training and guidance around. We're not going to shy away from reform. And I can tell you that the officers out on the street are doing it with duty, honor, integrity. Improved hiring techniques with a focus on diversity is also required in the consent decree. This provides an enforceable roadmap to ensure that it happens in a transparent, effective and reliable manner. Attorney General Phil Weiser says enforcement from an independent monitor will ensure changes are made within Aurora's departments. By having this monitor in the first instance with more of a hands-on role, we believe we're setting up the path most optimally for success. This will help us centralize everything, make policies clear so that officers know their role, residents know their rights. Omar Montgomery has been watching the city closely and was recently on a citizen panel reviewing the police department. Hopefully um, in another year, we won't be having these discussions. We'll be talking about how great our public safety systems are in the city of Aurora. The city manager said today that quite simply, this is going to be expensive, but he said it was worth it so that the city can begin to mend its relationship with the residents. We're live in Aurora tonight. Jeff Todd covering Colorado first.